Good morning YouTube. You've caught me on my pre-workout walk. It's Tuesday 23rd of April. No, May. <clears throat> so we're 25 days out now. Three weeks on Saturday. And yeah, obviously we're sort of depleting now. Thankfully, my hunger that was present on the weekend when calories, you know, got dropped, obviously. Um, you know, from having the refeed and then pretty much slashing calories in half to like a new kind of baseline diet. Hunger was high, but that was with being due on period. I'm now on day 29 of my cycle, so I could literally start today, tomorrow, a couple of days time, if I have a period at all. But either way, I still get the usual symptoms. So I was very hungry over the weekend, but I'm all right now. I was okay yesterday and yeah, I'm okay today. It's half 11 and I've just had my 35 grams of oats. So if you're wondering how 90 grams of carbs looks on a training day, it comes from 35 grams of oats that I have first meal, then I go and train. And then post-workout, I'll have three rice cakes. And that's the only direct carbs I can fit in because, to be honest, carbs rack up really easily from Trace, you know, just like from the protein yogurt I have, which has also got carbs in it because, you know, it's nice and flavoured. And then, you know, chocolate as well, dark chocolate. Carbs rack up easier than you think. So, yeah, 90 grams of carbs doesn't, doesn't really go far. So, it's just I have it around my training window and then the rest of the day is kind of like chicken, yogurt, dark chocolate. Yeah, that's it really. <laughs> so... I'm gonna go and train glutes and hamstrings now. I'm at that point of prep where you don't really look forward to sessions. You're not like gassed to train because you don't have the energy for it, but you just hope that you're not gonna snap in half and you hope that you're gonna maybe progress a couple of numbers. So that's what we're aiming for today. Progressions where possible, a couple of reps up, that kind of thing, and getting it done. Morning, YouTube. So it's now Wednesday the 24th of May. Um, yes, I'm, I'm kind of at that point of prep now where the makeup does not get applied because it's just an extra thing to do in the evening when I want to go to bed. But yeah, this is the uh, the realities of, of the tiredness of being 24 days out. So three weeks and three days as of today. Um, yes, check-ins going down with a white monster. Lovely stuff. I've got push today. But yeah, um, no changes from Tom today either. So that's good because, you know, I've already talk talked about my macros and stuff in the previous video. But yeah, like 90 carbs on a training day, 50 on a rest day, which is basically like, you know, just coming from trace sources. So no direct carbs on a, on a rest day at the moment. So it's like, yes, I am. Yes, I'm tired and I'm feeling a lot more irritable as well. This past this past like few days, I find myself quite irritable in the gym around other people and stuff like that. So, yeah, um, very much looking forward to, you know, the next three weeks, obviously seeing the changes in my physique and things like that. But yeah, literally due on my period still, it's like I'm day 30 of my cycle now. So it literally could come on today, tomorrow, two days time if at all but I'm certainly you know the, the hunger has subsided thankfully from those like initial couple, couple of days where you know that the, the pre-period week where it's like I'm always really hungry it's subsided now and it's manageable so it's just a case of whether it comes or not but yeah my weight's stayed the same since Monday now so Tom doesn't mind because he said you know visuals are better and I agree like I am looking tighter and sharper so it's just like you know the weight's going to be a bit of a, an idiot until my period kind of goes it, like I said whether I bleed or not that will kind of pass, that, that time will pass and, and weight should start to fall off again. But I'm currently <clears throat> like 11 pounds off my last stage weight. And like that's like five kilos off. So it's like, I'm obviously going to get down quite close to it, to be quite honest with you, which is interesting. You know, I'll be a lot leaner this time, but yeah, um, and looking a lot more muscular. But, you know, it doesn't mean that you're always going to be like several kilos of stage weight above necessarily. So yeah, I've still obviously got a few kilos to pull off easily. So it's kind of like, I'm probably, I'm going to be quite close to my last stage weight, to be honest, but it's funny because I don't feel that lean, especially in my lower half. But then when I think about the weight and what weight I am now, then I must be, if that makes sense. So it's like, yeah, it's I'm at that point of prep now where, I mean, when you've been like peeled and stage lean, like nothing's lean until you get there, if that makes sense. So yeah, but that's it. That's it for the updates. Nothing more to cover off, really. Um, quite a chilled week this week, really. I'm going to walk to Flex Normanton on Saturday, which is exciting. Friends arranged a spa day for me on Sunday, which is super cute. Um, so yeah, that'll be needed at the end of the week. But yeah, nothing nothing majorly exciting to report. So I'll leave this update here and um, check in with you in a bit. Okie dokie, YouTube. So it's now Friday. It's the 26th of April. So yes, I am actually three weeks out tomorrow, which is fun. So yeah, this time in three weeks, I'll be already in Maidenhead. I'll be, you know, probably heading for my 
first coat of tan. So yeah, it's getting very real now, I suppose. I need to really be thinking about, you know, things to try to think about. Do I need a new pair of shoes or not? Um, I'm trying to think about my jewellery as well. I don't really like anything on the Compact website, so I'm trying to think outside the box. Like, if anyone has any recommendations, if you know any, like, kind of super glamorous, like, websites or whatever where I could get like some big fancy, fancy earrings um, like the stage ones then please do let me know because like I said I'm not really fussed about anything that's on compact I've already got a pair of the Leas from compact but they're like super long and I wore them last time and I've worn them loads of times since the thing I like about stage jewelry is I'm more than happy to kind of just wear it out as well like on a night out or that kind of thing so I've worn them quite a few times so it's kind of like I don't really want to wear them again I will if I don't find anything but equally I would like to find something so yeah recommendations are welcome please just pop them in the comments below but yeah i checked in with tom this morning so obviously i have a few updates for you so yeah nothing really changed i mean i was i was running um i think i already i already said this on instagram and um, so it's probably even more okay to sort of say it on youtube but i was running anavar um 5mg five times a week so monday to friday and now we're just gonna have it daily because i've said to tom like you know i'm having no issues with it so just gonna up that a little bit and next week pretty much is when we really do up the ante like I've still got a lot to come in on my lower half at the moment, glutes and hamstrings especially. So yeah, like we are going to get there, but it's going to take, as Tom called it, a disgusting dig. So he said, well, he said, we'll refeed next week. So I'm not going to lie. I'm looking forward to that. This is like day seven of like the low days now, uh, you know, where I've been running the 90 carbs on the draining day and the 50 on the rest day. So things are going to get even worse next week, food wise. Fat burners are going to get higher. And he said even steps and stuff are going to get higher, which... When you're already doing 20,000 steps, you know, it's kind of like, ugh, okay. So yeah, basically it's going to be a, a disgusting dig next week after a refeed to just kind of set me up for that. Um, but yeah, for this weekend, we're just kind of running things on as as normal. Um, so yeah, the macros haven't changed. My weight hasn't really dropped off this week. I've been sort of hoping and waiting for my period to start. Like according to the app, I'll be, I like today's like, um, the app does like, it does like potential period days and then it does like actual predicted period days. And today's like my actual predicted, so like, but I've been waiting all week thinking it could be any day this, you know, and it hasn't started yet. It would be amazing if it did. If not, I'll just have to take that on the chin. Like, obviously, I came off contraception thinking I'd like my next prep to be able to see um, if and when I lose my cycle. So if that happens to be three weeks out and I don't get one this time, then OK, that's fine. I'm sure it'll come straight back when uh, when my food's back up and stuff. But obviously, you know, it's low at the moment and I'm pushing hard with like expenditure and stuff. So, so yeah, um, but it may come either way. My weight hasn't, it stayed literally 125 like every day when I checked in this week. And then this morning it was like 124.6. I was like, it's only 0.4 of a pound drop, but I just needed to see that scale drop. The main thing is though, I am generally looking leaner, coming in tighter and things like that. So the look is improving despite the weight not budging too much. So it's kind of like, yeah, we, we continue on this weekend whether the period comes or not I'll kind of come away from that time of the month and yeah like things should continue to drop off hopefully and and have another low weigh-in on on Monday so yeah that's pretty much it I trained back today house of gains it was a really good session I'll just I'll overlay um a couple of clips here but yeah it was it was decent I've not done back at, at house of gains before um I usually always end up doing it at all image because I'm limited limited for time on a Friday um but yeah ended up doing it at house of gains today because I actually don't have much on and um I had more time um so yeah, no, it was a really good session. Things that training wise, the things are feeling actually generally all right, to be honest with you. Like um, energy's not really been dwindling too badly recently. Um, but yeah, I think you do get to a point as well where you just, you kind of fired up like shows close and yeah, I can almost smell the, you know, the post-show pizza. I've booked like um, ZZ's for post-show in Windsor. You know what I mean? It's so close now, like this time in three weeks, I'll, I'll have carved up as well. So it's kind of like, yeah, okay, I'm 22 days out. A couple of those days will be a refeed and then there's like, you know, carb ups before the show. So there's not actually that there's like it, we're in the teens in terms of the amount of days that I'll have to spend, like hardly eating anything and digging because that's pretty much what I'm doing. I've just had my you know meal now, which is literally um, I had like 60 grams of chicken with 10 grams of peanut butter. And I'm pretty much just having like um, a chicken and peanut butter meal as a meal at the moment. And then another meal will be like a yogurt or something. Also, have you seen? Ooh, the veins are coming. Yeah, my upper body's definitely coming in. It's just my lower needs to catch up, but it will. You know, I literally said to Tom this morning, um, I want my legs to just look ridiculous and have lines all over them. And he was like, they will. And I said, I said, I don't worry about whether I'll be coming in on time because I trust you fully. And that's kind of the whole thing. I'd say that to anyone when you've got a coach, you know, that's their job to worry about you coming in on time. They will not be wanting to put you on stage, not in condition that looks bad on them. So at the end of the day, that's their problem, not yours. You just need to keep ticking the boxes, doing the do, and, you know, 
if your coach knows what they're doing, you will come in on time. So I never worry. I know I will. It, it's feel, weird to think of it now because I still feel very much like soft in, especially in the lower half. But I know that in a few weeks time, I'll look like an absolute freak, literally like three weeks time. So yeah, it's all to come. Like I say, we've got a big dig ahead. Um, but yeah, I'm ready for it. Like I said, it's, it's temporary. It's not very long. Um, I get a refeed before, which is nice because it, it'll set me up again. Um, I always tend to drop off nicely after a refeed anyway. So that'll be another good push in terms of that, the progress. But it'll also just set me up for being able to handle, you know, any fatigue, which which has been fine. You know, sleep's been good. Recovery's been good. I really can't complain on this prep, to be quite honest with you. Um, compared to, you know, previous preps, it's been miles better. So, yeah, I can't really complain. All good in the hood. Um, I'm going to pop to Asda now. I'm going to Asda a lot recently just to kind of pick up little bits like, you know, get, I'm going to go and get my yogurt and just more salad items because I'm, I'm rinsing through salad at the moment and yogurt. <laughs> so yeah, I'm going to go and get that. It's just a way to get my steps in as well. And it's like five o'clock already. So when I get back, I'll have a bit of yogurt and a piece of chocolate and then I'll wait for my chicken slash rashers salad for tea and then more yogurt and chocolate to finish. Literally all I'm eating at the moment, apart from the, the only direct carbs I get on a training day are the 35 grams of oats and, and the three post-workout rice cakes. Um, and then I have to wait till the next morning to have oats again. So I'm already looking forward to my oats in the morning tomorrow before legs. But yeah, that's it. I will, um, I'll check in with you one more time, I think, and then I'll kind of wrap the vlog up. Every morning at the moment, every single morning before I start to work, unreal, <clears throat> unreal. This is like what gets me through, not from like a tiredness perspective, purely to like fill that void while I'm waiting for my first meal. So it's like it's Saturday now. It's like just about nearly nine o'clock. I'm probably not going to eat for another couple of hours. You know, I do need to get on though because I've got to get to House of Gains and train legs and I'm going to the cinema this, af this afternoon at like the show is at like just quarter to five. So I probably will eat a little bit earlier than I usually would if I was trying to push my meals back. But yeah, that's literally how I've worked, you know, this last few weeks out, you know, the further you get into prep, the more you have to adapt to the, the food getting lower. Like, for example, recently, about a week ago, I started chewing gum like that. Like that makes me feel a little bit more satiated um, when I'm sort of out and about getting my steps and stuff like that. You know, I'll be hungry after a meal, but then I'll go and get some steps like with some gum and it, it just makes it feel like you're sort of still eating. So there's loads of ways to kind of you know, mitigate the hunger, which inevitably comes towards the end of a prep. But pretty much, I'm going to wrap this vlog up here. I, I weighed in this morning, a new low weigh in, 123.8. So I've, I've dropped nearly a pound overnight, which is great. Things are finally moving. Haven't got my period. But you know, I think I'm on day 32 now. You know, some of my cycles have lasted for like 35 days. So there's still scope for it to happen in the next few days. If it doesn't, I'll let you know. And I'll, that'll just be the data for future. Like, this is how lean you can get before your body says, can we not think about reproducing? Do you know what I mean? So it's quite common to lose your period in the last few weeks of a prep. But I'm fairly confident if I do, I'll get it back, you know, pretty much soon after. I'll probably have one, like, you know, post-show when I get my, uh, you know, my food back in a good spot. So, yeah, that's that for the moment. But I think I've still gone through the kind of the classic symptoms of having a psych having the period. So, you know, I've, I've still, you know, had all that this week. And I think now that it's like potentially gone, if that makes sense, without the bleed, um, my weight's starting to drop off again, which is good. So hopefully we'll hopefully we'll weigh in nice and low on Monday when I check in next with Tom. Um, likelihood is, of a refeed is, well, pretty high because he did say, you know, we, we need to do that before we have the next dig. And that, that obviously makes sense to me as well. So that'll be going, going on next week and I'll obviously update you then. But I'm literally three weeks out today. So in three weeks time, I'll be getting on stage today which is insane so yeah it's all coming to a head now um but yeah i've actually managed to do a three weeks out vlog when i'm actually three weeks out so that's good i'm going to wrap it up here um i am aware that most of my vlogs at the moment are just literally me talking to the camera with no fancy edits but um you know i don't have a lot of time or energy for, for vlogging to be fair so i'm just trying to make sure i get them out because i know that people like to follow along the journey and I, I really appreciate people that do as well so yeah thanks a lot for that that's it from me um big leg day at house of gains today then cinema to chill um rest day tomorrow rest day steps with a friend spa in the morning with another friend which is super nice that she's organized that for me um but yeah nice weekend ahead and then next week we refeed and then we start the disgusting dig so yeah three weeks out see you in the next one ciao for now